Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a coding bootcamp review of my school that I went to in 2015. I'm gonna talk about my experience going through a coding bootcamp and becoming the chief technology officer of a Y Combinator backed startup called Career Karma. Now, mind you, five years ago, if you would have showed me code, I would have stared at it or ran away. Let's be honest, code can look intimidating. Fast forward five years and I built my own iOS and Android app and I'm now leading a team of five senior software engineers. Now, how did I get here? Back in 2014, my twin brother and I wanted to start a company, but none of us knew how to code, so it didn't go anywhere. That's when we made a plan. He would go to App Academy, I would go to Hack Reactor, and we would teach each other in case one school was better than the other. And fun fact, in the last 29 years, him and I only spent three months apart. But let's get back to coding. Back in 2014, when I was applying to coding boot camps, I had to study on my own for six months before applying. But nowadays, all coding boot camps offer prep programs where if you complete it, you get accepted right away. So what did I learn in a coding boot camp? When you started a coding boot camp, you first start learning the fundamentals of JavaScript and you start getting familiar with different coding libraries like jQuery, Backbone, React, and Angular. Once you learn some of the front end, you start getting introduced to the back end, like servers, databases, and before you know it, you've built your first full stack web app. <laughs> the coding bootcamp is gonna go by fast. You're gonna learn a lot, but all the concepts are gonna be mashed together. So you have to build projects, and the more that you build, the more it's gonna start to sink in. All right, I'll give it a try. No. Try not, do, or do not, there is no try. My favorite part about a coding bootcamp was pair programming. That's when you work with another person on solving a coding problem. It forces you to communicate your thoughts, and when you get stuck, you have someone to commiserate with. Did we just become best friends? Yup! Now, after a three months bootcamp, did I feel like I was ready to be an engineer? Hell no. The imposter syndrome is real. The first few interviews were a blur and I didn't get any offers. What I realized is that learning to code and interviewing are two entirely different things. Being able to tell your story in a compelling way is way harder than people think. I sent out over 500 emails and eventually I started getting offers and got my first job as a software engineer. <laughs> Getting your first job in tech is the toughest, but surprisingly, I was more prepared than I thought. Hope you enjoyed this review, and please comment below what you're most worried about doing a coding bootcamp. Is it the job search, your projects, or something else? And stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna cover how I prepared for my first job in tech and subscribe. Let's break in.